Hello, friends. Today, I'm going to be reading a story called "Mr. Tick, the Teacher." If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Mr. Tick, the teacher, written by Alan Alberg and Faith Jackers. Mr. Tick, the teacher, lived in a big house. With his wife and children, his wife's name was Mrs. Tick. The children's names were Tim, Tom, and Teddy, Tilly, Trixie, and Tez. Mr. Tick worked in a little school. It was so little; it had only one teacher. That was Mr. Tick, and it only had six children. Can you guess who they were? Every morning at half past eight, Mr. Tick kissed Mrs. Tick. And went off to school. Every morning at ten to nine, the children waved goodbye to Mrs. Tick, and went off to school too. At nine o'clock, the children lined up in the playground and went into the classroom. Then, Mr. Tick called the register. Tim, here, Daddy. Tom, here, Daddy. Teddy, here, Daddy. Tilly, not here, Daddy," said Tom. She forgot her dinner money. She went back to get it. Trixie, here, Daddy. Tears, here, Daddy. After that, the children had their lessons with Mister Tick. In the morning, they had reading, writing, and arithmetic. In the afternoon, they had singing, cooking, and games. Please, Daddy, she pinched my pencil. At half past three, the children said good afternoon to Mr. Tick and went home. Mrs. Tick was waiting for them by the garden gate. "Hello, Mummy," the children said. "Hello, Tim." "Hello, Tom." "Hello, Trixie." "Hello, Tilly." "Hello, Tez," said Mrs. Tick. Then she said, "Where is Teddy?" He was cheeky to the teacher," said Tilly. "Daddy kept him in." So the days went by at the little school, and they were happy days. The children liked the teacher. The teacher liked the children. The parents were pleased with the school. The school was pleased with the parents. Then one morning, Mrs. Tick was reading the newspaper. Oh dear, she said. Listen to this. Little schools must close, 
an inspector will visit all little schools. If the school does not have enough children, it will be closed down. The children will go to a bigger school. That's bad news," said Mr. Tick. "You children will lose the school, and I will lose a job. What we need is more children," said Mrs. Tick. "Yes," said Mr. Tick. "But where from?" All of a sudden, Tilly said. I have an idea. She whispered it to Teddy. That's a good idea," said Teddy. He whispered it to Mister Tick. That is a good idea," said Mister Tick. He began to laugh. We will do it. The next day. The children had some surprising lessons in Mr. Tick's class. They had dressing up lessons. And making faces lessons. And riding their bikes in school lessons. And eating lots of dinners lessons. Mister Tick took some old desks from the school shed. Missus Tick put up more pegs in the school cloakroom. Can you guess what was going on? Two days later, Miss. The inspector arrived. Mister Tick met him at the school gate. The children are working in groups this morning, he said. Come and see. Mister Tick took the inspector round the school. Here's your coat. Hurry up. He's coming. In the classroom, he said, "Here we have the reading group." And so the brave knight rode off. In the playground, he said, "Here we have the games group. Tackle him." In the hall, he said. Here we have the singing group. Louder, please. On the school field, he said. Over there, we have the cross country running group. Can you guess who all the children were? Well, the inspector could not. He said, "This is all very good." And put it down in his notebook. Quick, where's my dress? Help! This can't be mine. At playtime, the inspector had a cup of tea with the secretary. Can you guess who she was? After play, he saw some more groups. Save me! Save me! At dinner time, Mister Tick took the inspector into the hall again. Here, the children are having their dinners. He said, "It is self-service." Hurry up! Now for the next one. That was quick. Change. This is my third.
Then the inspector had a cup of coffee with the cook. Can you guess who she was? And he said, "Well, Mister Tick, there is no need to close this school. You have plenty of children." Then he shook hands with Mister Tick and said goodbye. After that, Mister Tick gave the cook and the secretary a big kiss. He gave the reading group. The games group, the singing group, and the cross-country running group a big hug. Hooray! We did it. And he gave a half day's holiday to the six cleverest and most hardworking children in the whole school. And you can guess who they were. The end. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and click the bell button so you don't miss out on our next videos. Bye.